Hello again, we're at the Nanite Farm again today. Now I've extended this base out in a previous video, which I'll add if you want to have a look at that first. And my goal today is going to be linking this base with another Curious Deposit Batch, 836 U's away. To do that, I'm going to be using a short range teleporter. However, the short range teleporter's limit is about 200 U's, so I'm going to have to get creative in linking these two bases together. Now the curious deposit batch, as I said, is 830 odd U's away. Now I'm not the best mathematician, but I can figure out that 830 odd divided by four is more than 200. So I'm gonna be placing down four short range teleporter platforms that I can access from underneath. And then a final drop off platform that I don't need to access from underneath. The start and the end platforms only need one teleporter each. However, the four that I'm putting in the middle will need two teleporters on each. To make these teleporters move me forward along the lines, I'm going to be taking advantage of free placement, which is down on your D-pad. Placing the teleporters on a platform from underneath with free placement allows me to stack the structure inside another structure. And I'll go into a little bit more detail with that in a minute. With platforms accessible from underneath, I can add a short range teleporter, making sure free placement is selected. And then without moving the placement, rotate it 90 degrees and then place another one onto it. Once all these platforms have been done, I can go and connect them all up using the teleporter cable. Now it's important that you connect one teleporter on this platform to another teleporter on a different platform, but never the two on the same platform. Once that's finished, we can go back and supply them with power. So you can do this however works for you. I'm just going to be taking power from the main building and running it to each teleporter in a long line. But you can add solar panels to each platform if that's easier. Right, let's take a closer look at how this all works on this platform in the sky. I'm going to set up a triangle of teleporters, taking me from a single teleporter into the free placement double teleporter that will drop me off at the other single teleporter. Now just here you can get a really good look at these two teleporters inside each other with just a 90-ish degree turn. Of course everything's going to need some power so I'll drop a solar panel down to power them all. And you can see here, I'm linking this double teleporter up so that each is supplied power. And finally, using the teleporter cables, single to one of the doubles, the other double to the other single. in one, out the other. Here's a different angle. Here we have our four short range teleporters, A, B, C, and D. A and B are linked as are C and D. A will warp us to B, and normally that's where we'd be kicked out. However, because B and C occupy the exact same footprint, we're immediately picked up by C and warped to D. That's the whole reason I'm able to transport a distance of 800U in a teleporter that's limit is 200U. So all that remains to be said is thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps with your base building in No Man's Sky. Consider liking and subscribing and I will see you next time. Love you lots. Bye.